hey guys welcome to my channel thanks for clicking on this video uh, today we will be taking a look at the emerald lagasse power air fryer 360 xl i purchased this from costco uh, i have shared the details in a previous video i've used it a few times and the results have been impressive every single time in this video, I will also be sharing how I make chicken wings for the very first time using this air fryer. And I will include timestamps in the description box. So if you guys want to skip the unboxing and go right to the recipe, uh, you know, you can do that. Air fryers have been in the market for quite a few years now and this one came out in 2017 so it took me you know a few years to jump on the air fryer bandwagon <laughs> and um, I love that this has a rotisserie feature I you know I can't wait to try that one out. This air fryer comes with three crisper trays, a pizza rack, a baking pan, a rotisserie spit, a rotisserie stand and a drip tray. So let's get air frying. Uh, I will be making some chicken wings in the air fryer. I'm going to start by making a little seasoning mix for the chicken wings. In a bowl, I'm taking some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, crushed red pepper flakes, some dried parsley, salt and pepper, and I'm going to give this a good mix. And that's our seasoning for the chicken wings. The chicken wings that I'm using are from Costco, uh, the Kirkland brand chicken wings. Add your seasoning uh, to the chicken wings and give them a good toss, a good mix, you know, coat them nicely with the seasoning. And I've saved some seasoning here uh, to which I will be adding some all-purpose flour and that's going to be the coating for the wings. Using the control panel on the air fryer, we will select our mode, temperature and time. Since we are air frying the chicken wings, we will select air fryer um, and set it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 38 minutes. Um, it'll start to preheat after you've made your selections. And once it's done preheating, the light, the blue light on the display will change to orange. It'll also beep and let you know that it's done preheating. I always make sure that I have the drip tray or the drip pan in its place. So in case there's any spills, you know, it catches it. So here I'm coating the chicken wings uh, with the seasoned flour. Remember we saved some seasoning for the all-purpose flour. So just a light coating and then arrange uh, the chicken wings, the coated chicken wings on the crisper tray, which I have lined with aluminum foil. I'm spraying these uh, with some avocado oil. Uh, it has a high smoke point, so um, that's all I had on hand. I guess you could just drizzle some oil on it. That would work too if you don't have any uh, spray. Quick mention. Uh, I forgot to hit the pause on the air fryer, so I lost a few minutes of the timer. So we started at 32 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Here in a bowl, I have melted some butter to which I'm adding some Parmesan cheese, uh, some lemon pepper seasoning and a little bit of salt and pepper. So we are halfway into um, our cooking time. Uh, we started at 32 minutes. We have 15 minutes left. Let's take a quick look at how the wings are doing. I think they look amazing. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Now I'm going to pause um, the air fryer. Uh, you can see that it's paused. And now I'm going to uh, quickly uh, you know, turn over the wings, give them a flip. So let me show you how it's cooked. It's perfectly done, um, crispy, crunchy on the outside and nice and moist on the inside. Very flavorful. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. We made some more, so here's, uh, here's that. This air fryer gets a big thumbs up from me. I'm very impressed. What are some of your favorite recipes to make in an air fryer? I'd love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. And I hope to catch you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.